de minimis OID. The OID is de minimis if it is less than one fourth of 1%.0025 of the stated redemption price at maturity principal amount of the loan multiplied by the number of full years from the date of original issue to maturity term of the loan. So if the OID is de minimis, you can choose one of the following ways to figure the amount of points you can deduct each year. So on a constant yield basis over the term of the loan, or on a straight line basis over the term of the loan. The straight line basis is probably the, is, is clearly the easier method. So uh, in proportion to stated interest payments, uh, and so then you can, that's another way that you can do it, try to tie it to the, you know, proportion it out to the interest payments. So in its entirety at maturity of the loan, which is probably the worst way, that you, but if it's insignificant, it, it won't really matter, but you'd rather be deducting them sooner rather than later. So, so you make this choice by deducting the OID points in a manner consistent with the method chosen on your timely filed tax return for the tax year in which the loan is issued. All right, example. Carol took out a $100,000 mortgage loan on January 1st, 2022 to buy a house she will use as rental during 2022. The loan is to be repaid over 30 years. So that's a long loan. So during 2022, I mean, it's a standard loan, but it's also quite long. I mean, that's about similar to the life that if you had to capitalize it as an asset in terms of the cost of the property, right? So in any case, during 2022, Carol paid $10,000 of mortgage interest, stated interest to the lender. When the loan was made, she paid $1,500 in points to the lender. The points reduced the principal amount of the loan from 100,000 to 98,500, resulting in 1,500 OID. So Carol determined that the points OID she paid are de minimis based on the following computation. So there's a small amount of points based on the computation, which means she has the flexibility to do more what she wants with, with how she's gonna allocate the points, like a straight line method, the easy thing to do. So redemption price at maturity, principal amount of the loan is 100,000 multiplied by the term of the loan in complete years, 30, and multiplied by uh, 0.0025, de minimis amount is 7,500. So she's good. The points OID she paid 1,500 are less than the de minimis amount 7,500. So therefore, Carol has de minimis OID and she can choose one of the following four ways discussed earlier to figure the amount she can deduct each year. So she chooses the straight line method because she's not because that's easy. <laughs> under under the straight line method, she can deduct fifty dollars each year for thirty years. So in practice, that means you put it on the books as you know a on the same depreciation kind of schedules, but not as part of the building itself, but rather as the points that you're going to allocate not over the the useful life of the building, but rather over its own life straight line allocation of 30 years in this case, because that's the years of the loan. All right, con con constant yield method. If the OID isn't de minimis, you must use the constant yield method to figure how much you can deduct each year. Oh no, please no. So you figure your deduction for the first year in the following manner. Okay, so number one, determine the issue price of the loan. If you paid points on the loan, the issue price is generally the difference between the principal and the points two multiply the result in one by the yield to maturity uh, defined later three subtract any qualified stated interest payments defined later from the result in two this is the oid you can deduct in the first year 